So what are the classic presentations? Okay, so if you have somebody who is got lung cancer in a central place along one of the late major bronchi, then they may present with cough. And if that tumor is eroding into the bronchus, they may bleed a little bit into the bronchus and have hemoptysis as well. Occasionally, that hemoptysis is fatal in that the tumor erodes into an artery that bleeds so fast that the patient will die with massive hemoptysis. However, if you've got a mass which is in the periphery of the lung, not near a main bronchus, then actually it can remain pretty asymptomatic for a very long period of time. And these tumors tend to be picked up by X-ray surveillance rather than by presenting with symptoms. The other presentation for a tumor which is affecting a bronchus is that it can block that bronchus and cause what we call lobar collapse. So that could be the right lower lobe as shown in this picture, could be the right upper lobe, could be the entire lung. Or could this patient will present with an x-ray showing lung collapse and breathlessness that has developed over a period of a few weeks. When the lung hasn't quite collapsed but is the, there's significant obstruction to the bronchus, then the patient on examination may have a wheeze over that area, which is a monophonic wheeze. It has one note, which is quite different to the wheeze you get in asthma, which is polyphonic with multiple notes. And the reason why it's a monophonic wheeze is that there's only one area of obstruction, so there's only one note of uh, determinant flow that occurs in that area. And of course, partial obstruction of an airways makes the body's ability to clear that airway, the distal lung of infection or bacteria that get into that area, much weaker. And therefore, patients can present with pneumonia. So a smoker presenting with pneumonia, we have to be aware that that might be evidence of a central obstruction due to a, a tumor that's otherwise unknown. As I've mentioned, an important range of symptoms for patients presenting with lung cancer are systemic symptoms. That is weight loss, loss of appetite, general malaise and fatigue. And if you have those symptoms, then you must consider cancer as a potential diagnosis. And the patients themselves may look cachexic because of the weight loss, they look particularly thin. Clubbing is also a very common sign in lung cancer and uh, is a significant significantly present in many patients with squamous cell cancer. So just to take these potential presentations and give you three potential, ex explanation, uh, three potential examples of this. This is a patient who has been coughing, they've coughed up blood. Because of that, somebody's done a bronchoscopy and when they look down the bronchoscopy, what they can see is a tumor blocking the upper lobe bronchus and the chest x-ray shows collapse of that upper lobe. So that's a central tumour which is causing partial collapse of, of the lung and hemoptysis. This next patient presents with pain in the arm and the reason why they've got pain in the arm is that they have an apical tumour which is eroding into the brachial plexus which is a so-called pancos tumour. So that's quite a different presentation although it's still an upper lobe tumour on the right hand side. And this third presentation, another upper lobe tumor on the right-hand side, actually you can just about see there's a very small shadow under, visible underneath the ribs there. And this is an asymptomatic cancer. It's far too small to be actually causing symptoms in, a, in that peripheral position. But it was picked up on a chest X-ray that was done for other reasons. And this is a very common presentation for lung cancers, which is an asymptomatic abnormality identified on an X-ray done for other reasons. <laughs> 